our focus is a little bit different than the Alzheimer's Association. Um, and until quite recently, there was a little bit of animosity between our two groups. But we're beginning to bend that fence and work together, and I think that will end up being a good thing for everyone. Um, the focus for the Alzheimer's Network is to actually provide support to people with dementia diseases, specifically Alzheimer's, but any dementia, and to support their families and their caregivers by doing things like having free memory screenings. We offer them in um, all four counties that we're focusing on. And there's some reasons why people might want to take advantage of memory screenings, but I'll talk about that when it fits into what I'm going to talk with you about today. We also put on um, sometimes single day topics sometimes six-week series on things like um, the end of life. What does it look like? The kinds of things that hospice also can do. Um, we have a program for early stages, people who have just been diagnosed, and the kinds of things that they need to uh, address in their lives and so forth. So that's the Alzheimer's Network. and. I'm trying to get out of being president next year, but I'm not sure I'm going to manage it. <laughs> so um, today we're going to talk about how Alzheimer's disease affects the brain and a little bit about recent advances in uh, research and how research is starting to give us some clues about how to prevent or at least delay the symptoms of this disease and uh, I'll talk a little bit about some of the therapeutic approaches and give you some information about research in Oregon. And if there's time, I'd be happy to take questions from you. And it would be very helpful to me if you have a question. You could just raise your hand. There's some three by five cards in the back. If you could jot down what your question is so that I 